Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today, as you can see, I'm unboxing a Honeywell Z-Wave in-wall switch. Uh, this is going to be replacing one of my X10 wall switches. And as you can see here, the box, there's not much in the box. Uh, just the switch, um, the screws for the wall plate, and the mounting, um, and a set of directions. Uh, this is a switch that requires a neutral wire. As you can see, it's got the two for the uh, hot and then one for the neutral there. Um, and the switch is just a positional switch. It's up or down, but it returns back to center, so it's not a flip up, flip down, on off. So that might be a little bit of getting used to. But what I've done here is basically I've just taken out the old X10 wall switch. Um, just unscrewed it and pulled it out here. And the X10 only required two wires. Uh, and it was hooked up to the hot wires there. Uh, the, just the two blacks. Uh, going into this new one, we will have to add a pigtail. And what I mean a pigtail is just a picture here. Is I've added another wire to the white wire bundle. And this is for American installation, of course. Uh, so what I've done is now I've got uh, the three wires, the white, neutral, and then the two hot wires. And the way it wires up, pretty simple. Um, they just fit into the hole and tighten the screw down. And once you got it tight, just give it a good tug just to make sure that, uh, you know, it's good and snug. It doesn't come out. Here, he's just going to go and put the, the, the wires in and tighten them up. And I don't show it, but it does have a ground on the top that connects the same way. So in the end, you will have four wires, your two hots, your neutral, and then the ground. And as you can see here, this is how it'll work just up and down. Once we get the power, I'm going to Home Seer here and get it added. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the plugins, and from there, you're going to select the Z Wave and controller management. And we're going to go in and do add a node. And once we click that, we're going to do add. And here I will have to go, and once you put it in the add mode, I will have to start it and go and do the switch up one time. And that will start the activation process. So let me stop here, uh, let this run, and I will come back once we get it added. And as you can see here, it has started adding the slave node, and it will go through. It's going to look like it's going to be node 9, and it will go through the synchronization here. And now we have Honeywell Z-Wave switch, and so we'll let this finish here. Um, so we'll know now that it's uh, got all the correct information, and once it's finished, we can go to the home screen. And we'll have to wait here because it won't go until it's finished. And it should pop up done once complete. And let's see here. There we go. It's coming up. So now we'll go home. And remember, when you add a new node, it doesn't show by default. It's unchecked. So we'll go down, see node 9. So let's just uncheck them all and just select node 9. So that way we only have that one on the screen to work with and here we go we'll go in and change the name I'm putting this in the kitchen so let's name it kitchen and uh, submit that and it will be on the first floor and I don't think I have a room kitchen I probably need to add one but for now we'll just do downstairs um, I don't have those grouped too well there and I'm going to check the boxes for voice commands because I will be using it with Alexa. And then once we're done there, we can hit done. And let's go over here and check them all. Go down and find it. And it should come up here on the screen now. Let it load. And we'll go down and find the kitchen. And you can see here it has been added, and it has an off, on, and a last. And the nice thing here is it looks like if you leave it, uh, let's say you set it on 58%, turn it off, 
and you open it back up on the last, it'll come back up to the last known set, which is pretty cool. Um, but anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick video. Uh, if you like it, get a, a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to you coming back and checking out some future videos. Thanks and have a great day. And we will see you later.